you know, you gotta work on your skills, man. This has gotta be a love, not a life. You see, when you love it, it ain't work. There used to be a young lady stay right across the street here with the project used to be. Her name was Andrea Gaines. She used to be out here from 7 o'clock. Every day, get up all. No coach, nobody out here working on her game. She came out here and you'll say, man, if you're a good player. But she put in the work. Most young people like things. Let me tell you something about life. In your lifetime, you're going to like a lot of young ladies. You're going to marry the one you love. That's a fact. My name is Julian Fletcher, 16 years old, class of 2020, went to Lake City High School. Now I'm going to Vanguard School, which is located in Lake Worlds. I met Julian about four years ago, um, actually through his older brother. I used to train him, his name is Jalen. Um, he's actually now playing just to football up in North Carolina, right? In North Carolina. And, um, well, I mean, Drew used to be that kid that used to just hang around. Every time that we used to get in a workout in with his brother, he was a legit, the legit bug. He would come in the gym, hang around the gym, be in the gym, ask questions. Um, just a hard work kid, you know what I mean? Every time we had a camp or we had a clinic, we had anything of that sort, he's the one that stuck out. You know, my pros would come back and they'd be like, man, which one is the, you know, the kids that can hoop? And, you know, I'd be like, well, look, y'all just pay attention, you tell me. You tell me what you think. And they would always say, they would point him out, man, I like that kid, he's a work. You know, and um, I think that's why, you know, he continues to progress every year just because he's a worker. You know, our job is to remind him of that. You know, how'd you get here? How'd you get to the point that you're at today? You know, you're a worker. You, you put in the work, you wake up early in the morning, you don't complain about the work, you know, you just get it in. And I think that's why he's going to be successful. You know, a lot of people, you know, they see his his growth has been, you know, consistent. He hasn't, he hasn't had a big jump yet. You know, we're looking to do that this year, but it's been consistent. I think at the end of the day, the more consistent you are, the better chances you have of, you know, continuing to get better and making it to that next level. I think he's got that. Um, going to Vanguard, I'm very excited because it's a boarding school. My first experience going there. And then it's going to be really good because I play better competition, play bigger, have bigger teammates, and just learn to play with big people. And then just my goals, my ultimate goal is win a state championship and just get that ring and then, you know, because I always want a ring. I always want a ring when I step in high school and I play basketball. This is a passion, it's a love. And then if I do get that championship, I just want to get that ring and give it back to my mom because she always done stuff for me and my dad uh, and my grandfather. They sacrificed so much for me just to get better and get to this point. And, you know, they always been there for me and that's how I got these college interests. And then I'm just trying to turn these interests into offers with my man Kale over here helping me out, just getting better and just working every day. That's, that's mainly it. And um, I'm just trying to just trying to make it, even if it is not to the NBA, so even overseas, that's my ultimate goal. And then I just, if I can go make it to the NBA, that's that's well too. And that's, yeah, that's mainly my goal. I always wanted as a little kid, I always worked for it, everything. Kale and my dad, all my family members, they pushed me to the limits. It don't matter how hard I'm going, I can be throwing up, they still gonna tell me to go hard. And I just work every day. I believe in training, you know, it helps develop. But kids that are gonna make it are, are gonna make it with or without a trainer. They might make it, they might be a little sharper when they find their trainer, they might be a little better, you know, skill-wise, but they're gonna make it regardless because they got that hunger for it, you know what I mean? They're not, they're not dependent on me to make it. They're, they got their own internal drive. That internal drive is what makes people, you know what I mean? If you wanna go to that next level, you gotta build that internal drive. That's the most important thing. Do that when we got there too. You know what I mean? Hey, shout out to Beast Productions, man.